Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're going to be taking you through the full lineup of mattresses available from Helix Sleep. Now, if you don't already know, Helix over the past few years has become one of the most popular DTC mattress brands, and they have a pretty extensive array of mattresses. So we're going to be giving you a full overview of all the models that they offer. Stick around. Now in total, Helix offers 14 mattresses. Now most of them are part of their main collection, which they divide into standard and luxe. But then on top of that, they have two additional kind of specialty mattresses, one for kids and one for heavy people. Now here's how Helix thinks about their main line of mattresses. In addition to the distinction I just mentioned in terms of standard and luxe, they also have six model names. And each model name has a counterpart in standard and a counterpart in luxe. And that's those six models they think of in terms of a two by three matrix. The two columns would be sort of more memory feel, less memory feel, or maybe even more memory feel, no memory feel. And then the three rows of that matrix would be firm, medium, and soft. So all six of their model names fit somewhere on that two by three matrix, and all six then have a direct counterpart on the luxe side as they have on the standard side. So let's start out by talking about what all six of these standard models have in common. And specifically, that's gonna be the support unit and the cover. The support unit is gonna be an eight inch pocketed spring unit that has 840 coils in a queen size. And it's also gonna have some edge support features. Specifically, it's gonna have two rows of narrower diameter coils going up each side of the mattress. Uh, and those narrower diameter coils, what they allow for is a higher level of coil density, more coils per square foot along those edges and that makes those edges stronger they hold up better uh, they do also all have some edge support in the head and foot in our testing we did not find the edge support to be as effective in the head and foot as we did on the side of the mattress by the same token we also don't think that edge support is quite as important at the head and foot of the mattress as it is on the side because on the side not only do you sit there but you also lie there. In terms of the cover, all six of these standard Helix models are going to use the same cover, the one that I'm on right now. What I can tell you is it is a very soft fabric. It seems to be rather breathable. It has a waterfall edge, which basically means that the cover material goes all the way to the edge of the mattress and then actually goes down the first two or three inches of the side panel as well. Um, so it's basically a pretty standard cover with a little bit of stretch, uh, smooth top kind of design. And in total, all of these standard models from Helix are going to be 11 and a half inches, which basically means they're going to have about three and a half inches of foams above the coil unit. And because the support unit that I just described is a pocketed spring unit, it's going to have good motion isolation properties and it's going to be adjustable base compatible. Now, in terms of what you're gonna get when you step up from the standard level to the luxe level, the first thing you'll notice is that the mattress looks completely different. It looks more like a traditional mattress. It's got a really nice side panel, and very notably, on top of the mattress, it has a quilt panel. So what a quilt panel essentially is, is when they take uh, the cover of the mattress and then another piece of fabric, and they sandwich some really soft foam into that, and then stitch a pattern in there, which basically that pattern allows uh, in the spaces between the stitching, the foams can kind of billow up and just add a lot of surface softness to those mattresses that you're probably accustomed to on a more traditional mattress design. So all six of the Helix Lux models are gonna have that look and that quilting. And on top of that, all six of these models are gonna have the same cover material. And this cover material ha actually has a cooling feature, which is that in this cover, there is higher density yarn sewn in basically like they used a fiber that's uh actually about half of the of the cover it uses this higher density what they call polyethylene fiber uh actually that's what it is called what they call it is glaciotex uh, but what it does is polyethylene fiber by being a higher density material kind of has an inherent coolness to the touch much the same way lying on a higher density material like marble would feel cooler on your back than lying on a lower density material like wood so those covers all have a very palpable coolness to the touch. It's certainly among the coolest uh, covers to the touch that we've tested. And the next thing you're gonna get at that Lux level is different coil unit. Now it is going to be the same coil count, the same coil height, eight inches, and it's going to have that same edge support that I described with the standard models. However, the additional feature you're gonna have is that it is zoned. Now what zoned means in this case is that the center third of that coil unit is gonna feature stronger, beefier coils. Now, why would you want that? Well, all of us carry more of our weight proportionally in the center of our body, in our hips. 
Uh, and therefore, the idea is you want to have stronger coils where you have more weight in order to make sure you're holding up that part of your body and able to help your spine maintain proper alignment. So that is a feature that you're going to get on all of the Lux Helix models. And I'll just add that we did test this feature to see if we could tell the difference between the center third and the rest of the mattress, and it is definitely real. We could certainly tell that those coils are stronger. And the last thing I will add about what you get as you upgrade to the Lux level, and this is not the least at, by any means, you'll certainly see that the profile heights are about two inches taller. You're looking at about 13 and a half inch mattress versus an 11 and a half inch mattress. And the difference there principally is coming from more premium foam. So not only are you getting more comfort foams up at the top of those Lux mattresses, but they're more premium foams. So that is also a big part of what the upgrade is between the standard level and the luxe level. And what you should understand about what that means for you as a shopper is that it's not as though the, these mattresses, when you look at like midnight to midnight or dusk to dusk, the Lux version is not simply the exact same innards as the standard version, but with the addition of a pillow top and a zone coil unit. In fact, those padding layers, those cushioning layers between the quilt and the coil unit are going to be different in most cases, maybe, maybe even very different between the Lux and the standard levels. Now, in terms of the feels of these models, given how many there are in this collection, we're not going to go through every one of them in this video and give you our individual classifications and assessments for every single characteristic. It would simply take too long. So instead, what I do is refer you to our compare feature on our website, goodbed.com, where you can look up any of these models and compare them to any other of these models, as well as to other models that you may be considering. And there you'll get all of those classifications for every feature, not only our field characteristics, but also other characteristics that we look at in every mattress. For purposes of this video, what I want to do is give you some of high level observations about how these models differ across both the standard collection and the Lux collection, as well as how they differ between the two collections for any given model name that you might see. So on that front, the first thing I think that you should know is that from a softness standpoint, all of the softer mattresses are in the Lux part of this collection. So the standard part of the collection kind of runs almost all the way up to medium, but not quite to medium on our softness spectrum. The Lux collection has a little bit broader range of feels. So it starts at about medium firm in the firmest model, but it goes all the way up to very soft. So one area where our classifications would completely line up with Helix's classifications is that when they talk about firmer models, medium models, and softer models, we would certainly put the models in that same order. But, but I think it's important for you to know that when you step from the standard level to the Lux level for any given model, like the Twilight, the Midnight, or the Moonlight, you're gonna generally see a pretty big increase in softness. The firmer the model is, the lower that uh, difference is, but it's still gonna be, in general, a couple of levels up in our softness spectrum. So you might go from a very firm to a medium firm, or you might go from, a, on the softer end, you might go from a medium firm to a very soft. So as you go over to the softer side of the collection, the gap between how much softness you're gonna experience in the standard version versus how much you're going to experience in the Lux version grows pretty, pretty significantly. Now in terms of cushioning depth, which if you've seen any of our videos before, you may know refers to the difference between sleeping in the mattress versus on the mattress. And this encompasses things like how much uh, the mattress conforms to your pointy parts, how closely it conforms to your body, and also how deeply you might sink into the mattress. And these are gonna be really important characteristics to understand when you are thinking about fit and what mattress is gonna fit from a spinal alignment standpoint for your body size, shape, and sleep position. And what I'll tell you here is that overall across this line, both the standard side and the Lux side, we found that the cushioning depth generally aligned pretty closely with the softness levels. That's not always the case, by the way. Sometimes you get a, a very firm mattress that has a ton of cushioning depth, for example. Here, generally speaking, the firmer mattresses had less cushioning depth and the softer mattresses had more. So based on that, we can get into thinking about fit. And in general, what we would say is side sleepers are going to need a little bit more softness, both because softness helps deliver more pressure relief, which is gonna be particularly important when your body's weight is concentrated over a smaller surface area, like your shoulders and hips when you're sleeping on your side. And it's also going to be important because your body's curves tend to be more accentuated when you're on your side. Your body's curves tend to be just more um, 
in that direction. So <laughs> that's why you need a mattress that offers more conformance when you're on your side. And in general, what we would say is for most people, those, those softer options that I mentioned are going to be in the Lux collection. So if you're a side sleeper, I think there's a pretty good chance that you're gonna be better served on one of the Lux mattresses than on one of the standard mattresses. And if you are a side sleeper and you're looking at one of the standard mattresses, in our estimation, you probably ought to be thinking about one of the mattresses that Helix considers more soft, which would be the Sunset or the Moonlight. But that said, we probably wouldn't rate either of those mattresses as being particularly well suited for side sleepers. So in general, again, we'd refer you more to the Lux level if you're a side sleeper for most people. So now let's turn to stomach sleepers because they're generally the other end of the spectrum in terms of what they need from their mattress. Because the last thing that a stomach sleeper needs or wants is a mattress that's going to allow their heaviest part, their hips, to sink into the mattress. Because on your stomach, that's going to lead to overarching of your back, which is an almost certain recipe for back pain. So for stomach sleepers looking at this Helix line, I would generally refer you to the firmer models in this collection, uh, the firmest being the Twilight and the Dawn, but even uh, in the standard line, maybe even the Midnight could work for you or the Dusk. If you're looking at the Lux line, I'd probably stick with the Twilight or the Dawn as your best options in that Lux line if you're a stomach sleeper, because I wanna make sure that you don't get too much sinkage in that center area. Now, the one benefit of the Lux line that's particularly important for a stomach sleeper is that it does have that zone coil unit, that extra support in the center of the mattress. So those two firmer models in the Lux line do offer some benefits for stomach sleepers. Now, in terms of back sleepers, you're generally gonna have a little bit more latitude, a little bit more play in terms of finding a mattress that meets your preferences, because back sleepers, I think, have a little bit more uh, flexibility in terms of what they can get proper spinal alignment on. So for the most part, I would say back sleepers could probably be okay on really most of the standards, but particularly the, the four softer ones, which would be the midnight, the dusk, the sunset, and the moonlight. And within the Lux collection, they would probably be fine with almost all of those as well, but I might steer them away from the two softest Lux models, the Sunset and the Moonlight. I'd worry a little bit about hammocking on those softest models for a back sleeper. So switching gears here now, back to some of the feel characteristics. Let's talk about memory feel, which if you don't already know, memory feel is one of those characteristics that's neither better nor worse. It's only better or worse for your personal preferences. And in general, we'd say that there isn't a whole lot of memory feel in this lineup at least when considered in the broad spectrum of all mattresses out there. In fact, there's really only two models in this collection that we would say have uh, a significant amount of memory feel, enough to put them in line with, say, the average mattress out there these days, which the average mattress today does have some memory foam in it. So that's how we think about this characteristic. And those would be the Sunset Lux and the Midnight Lux. Both of those kind of have enough memory foam in them that they sort of have uh, in line with the average mattress today, but the rest of the collection, I would say in general, has below or less than average amount of memory feel. So if you're someone who really loves a lot of memory feel, you might not find that in, that he in this Helix lineup, but if you're someone who doesn't want memory feel, there's plenty of options, and even some for those who kind of want a little but not too much. So that's pretty much the lay of the land as it relates to the bulk of this Helix collection. On top of that though, as I mentioned previously, you do have one called the Helix Plus, and you also have a mattress for kids. So in terms of that Helix Plus model, what I can tell you is this is definitely a beefy coil unit that it's based on, right? It's got basically strong coils going all the way across this unit, and you can feel it. It's basically very firm, so, so I weigh almost 200 pounds, and I would classify this as a very firm on our softness spectrum, and I get almost no sinkage in my hips on this mattress. So obviously it's not designed for people who weigh less than 200 pounds. I think this is gonna be the kind of thing that someone who weighs significantly more than me needs though to keep their spine in proper alignment. But you should know that generally speaking, and just in comparing this to other mattresses in this collection and beyond, it is in our spectrum, very shallow cushioning depth and a very firm amount of softness. And in terms of memory feel, we didn't really pick up on any of that in this mattress. And in terms of bounce, of course, there's plenty of bounce as you plop your weight down on that beefy coil unit. And in terms of the kids' mattress, this has an interesting flippable design, and it basically is meant to grow with your kids. So its first side is geared towards kids who are three to seven. And this side is gonna be 
if I was estimating it for me and comparing it to any of these mattresses, a medium level of softness with kind of a medium cushioning depth as well. But of course, for any kid, especially one who's three to seven, they're gonna weigh a heck of a lot less than I do. And so for them, it's going to feel significantly firmer. So it's gonna be basically be a firm to medium firm mattress for those kids. Now, as those kids get a little bit bigger, they get say between eight and 13 years old, you're, it's designed to be able to flip the mattress over. That side has more firmness, so that maybe is gonna be a medium firm to me. So again, it might feel like a firm to medium firm to them, because they're still probably gonna be smaller than I am. And it's similarly a uh, shallower amount of cushioning, so it's basically gonna keep your kid on what will feel like a relatively firm mattress to them at any given age they are. And as they get to that second side, for, meant for the older kids, it introduces a little bit of memory foam as well for additional pressure relief and so forth. So while we have seen flippable kids mattresses before, we did find this design that's kind of designed to suit different age groups with its flippability to be particularly clever. So there you have it. We really hope you found that to be a helpful overview. I will again reiterate that if you're serious about getting a Helix mattress, we'd highly recommend going to our website, goodbed.com, and checking out the information we have there, including through our compare feature, which will list all the different assessments and evaluations we've made about these mattresses and let you compare them side by side to any of the other mattresses in this collection or beyond. So definitely make sure to take advantage of that. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and we really hope you sleep well. Thank you.